Okay, I was given a question. Um, somebody asked if we could do a video on why men and women cheat. It's a complex question. Or, if somebody cheats, do they still love you? I was asked that question too. Um, my answer to that is, yeah. Somebody can cheat and still love the person that they're with. Because if you go back in um, history, humans weren't really meant to be monogamous creatures, especially human males. Um, if you look back in old... There's so many people with that statement, but go on. <laughs> so, um, hey, it is, it's true. Like, people... If you go back into biblical times, you see, like, a lot even of people... Even before that. Even, yeah. Can I finish the phone? I'm sorry. All right, damn, damn nigga. Um, people had, like, multiple wives and things like that. Concubines. Um, kings had, like... They had their queens, but they still had... You know, mistresses and side, mistresses. side pieces. Yeah, side dishes, if you will. Um, so, it's like... If somebody has a girlfriend... And they sleep with some random chick. Doesn't mean that they don't love the girlfriend still at the end of the day. It just means that sometimes males just have a tendency. And females too. Have a tendency just to fuck oh, something else. Opportunity. That's what it comes down yeah. to. Opportunity and time. Yeah. Um, what is it? I've, I've heard this before too. Like women be like, oh, if he cheats on me, I'm going to cut his dick off. I'm going to pour bleach in his... Uh, Poor bleach while he's sleeping, or I'm gonna cut his clothes up and like them shits on fire. You know, why? Please. Why? Don't. Like, don't do that shit. Not my Jordans. Yeah. Not, 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 not anything of mine. Don't do that in general. Um, people are like, oh, well, if he's gonna cheat, why don't they just leave the person? Because they probably still genuinely love the person. Um, get somebody pregnant, somebody else pregnant while they're cheating, that's a little bit of a stretch, but shit, shit happens. You know, sometimes, like, why didn't they wrap up? Have you had sex with a condom? Doesn't feel great at all, does it? For both uh, sexes, right? but you know, <laughs> you really promoting unsafe sex. I, I promote and beat and raw, but you have to be safe when you do it. Yeah, listen, don't wrap up, but you gotta be totally safe about it when you're doing it. You, know, you can be you gotta, safe, you know. You gotta be safe about it. You can be safe when you beat raw. Just make sure both y'all are like clean of any STDs, herpes. <coughs> are they porn media. actresses or actors? <laughs> That's know. the only profession I can think of when you're getting checked. On a big, like a basis where you can be like, hey, look, this is right here, this is it right here. Yeah. Um, but still, like, my thing is this. I was asked by somebody that was like, do you think that, like, and, and she kind of agreed too. She was like, well, yeah, I agree the same way as well. Like, people, they slip up, or people will get a hall pass, if you will. Like, there's a lot of famous people, like, you know, you know celebrities and athletes that do, that are on a road, like, all year round and yeah they have a lot of temptation going on and i don't even think it's temptation i think it's just you know i think it's positioning it's no i, I really do think it's our instinct to do that no it's a position you men and women it's a position you hold if you're a celebrity or a politician if you're used to always being told yes you're not gonna when someone says no you're either gonna freak out or do what you gotta do to get that person so famous people celebrities i think I'm not condoning their behavior, but I think because they're, like I said, they're famous, they're used to being told yes all the time. So. Look at your beard, bro. Side note, your beard coming in kind of crazy, you know, right? I'm, coming in. I'm trying to get the pirate, uh, the, the, pirate, the, the pirate, pirate, the pirate mustache with the curls. Yeah, but totally going hard. Right that shit going hard. Hey, look, fuck that shit. My beard coming in, look at that. Look at yeah, that you shit. just threw that out there. Look at that beard. Look it went that. from so cheating to beards. Like beard talk. <laughs> We just jump from cheating to beer talk anyway. Um let to slide that back a little bit. Um this, this this right here, this beard action right here. <laughs> really? We'll, we'll, we'll call some motherfucker to cheat. <laughs> <laughs> look at look at that look at that look at that beautiful one. Go ahead, go that beard with this smile. Them, Go ahead. Them players right there. <laughs> they real man. I need me a man's man. I need me a man with a beard and a beautiful smile. <laughs> I'm trying to get the smile. I'm trying to get that ping action going. <laughs> that ping with the light, the light hitting it, the cartoon light. I'm trying to get the ping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ladies. Yeah, bitches. Mm. Anyway, anyway, going back to cheating and stuff. Um, I think women cheat sometimes for emotional reasons. 
Um, just sometimes they cheat because they want to. Yeah, sometimes women can. just because like you know, it also be like you know, guys. Nothing better for a guy than new vagina. I'm sorry, this is what it is. Vagina's great, especially if you have it for a while. But then like the girl can look like hammered horseshit. They go for everything though. Like how many times has has, has have we known friends of ours that cheated on a girl with a bitch that looked like a dog? A lot of women don't understand. Like, oh, it, 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 he cheated, was so you got ugly. She was ugly. It's not about her yeah. being ugly. It's about opportunity. And look at Arnold Schwarzenegger. Maria Shriver was no looker. She was no looker. But she is a Kennedy, you know? You can't get any higher with American royalty than that. But who did he bang? The maid. The ugly ass maid. You know what? Back in the day, she wasn't that bad. She wasn't, but it was about yeah, opportunity. She probably, she probably Maria had Maria some... was off somewhere. She probably was setting and jetting with the Kennedys. No, because she, she was doing that. She was doing that. You know, what she was sixty minutes or a yeah, day but Arnold, yeah, she like was that? doing. But that was the I think. The, yeah. yeah, but Arnold was at home and the maid was just, she just the maid was walking by, you know, pouring some orange juice or some shit. He was in the middle. And it was he was like that you big know, man of boom. What was it jingle all the way? Probably <clears throat> yeah. failed. And he, he was, was probably like, spanking it in the bathroom, and she was like, like oh, Mr. Schwarzenegger, so I clean your laundry, and he was like, you know what? She don't talk like that you at clean all. My, <laughs> you can clean my balls, too. You can clean these balls, and you know these what? terminated balls, yeah. and then boom, she got pregnant. I got biceps down here. But you know what? I'll give it to her. She was she kept it like a G. She kept that a secret Quiet for, for the longest years. fucking time. And to Marie, and I was like, wait a minute. That, that baby, motherfucker big as shit. Her son? baby looked like, her baby looked familiar. Arnold Schwarzenegger, Arnold Schwarzenegger's side son, you know he's the side baby. Yeah. The, the, you, you're you're forever known as the side. When it came to light, you know he was getting all types of Xbox oh Ones, my and PS4s, God. and Jordans, and Humvees. His and pussy everything. rate, his he, his pussy rate in high school probably skyrocketed. It skyrocketed. Crazy. Arnold Schwarzenegger's your dad? Oh hell yeah. <laughs> That's from teachers. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! I walk around like a pimp. Hell yeah! Uh, he what he got? He got his like he got him a uh, Jeep for his birthday or some shit like that crazy. recently. Some like crazy ass awesome, crazy four door um, dope ass Jeep Commander or some shit like that. Anyway, whatever. Going back to it, it's not about the guy not loving you. Like women will sometimes if they feel like a lack of emotion in a relationship. I've known this for a fact that they will cheat married women. Oh know? yeah. You, you dabbled in married women before, you know. Unfortunately, we've had some. Uh, Unfortunate shit. Yeah, okay. She was great. We've had some. Uh, we, we've done some dirt in our past. We've done. And, uh, yeah, we've uh, we've hooked up with some wives and some girlfriends. Yeah. Like, but the only thing there's, I'm off limits with like friends. Like, if I know a friend of mine. Yeah, there's certain rules I will follow. Yeah, like you know, there's certain shit that you gotta follow. Like you know, it's bro code, guy code, man code, yeah. dude code, don't whatever bang, the hell you want to Don't bang it. your friends' wives or girlfriends. You don't do that. But a stranger, yeah. in the club, yeah. if you ain't hold down, play it, sorry. Something like, if it's, if it's like random, then all right. Because I know girls like that too. Girls would be like, yeah, well, I hooked up with him, but you know, she wants to hook up with him now. And it's happened. I remember I messed around with a girl years ago, and um, she told me her friend liked me. I was trying to get that threesome action going. No. She just wanted me to bang the friend. Or her friend just wanted to bang me. So, you know, we, we like, kind of, what, like, you know, and then the friend moved to, like, Minnesota. And then somehow went back to the other friend. And she was asking me questions about her. I'm like, bitch, you could have found out if we had a three-way. <laughs> but, you know, she won with it. The friend was, but she won with it. So, yeah. This is the mentality I don't understand. When someone cheats and the person goes back and fights the other person. Like, yeah. if I bang your girlfriend and you come and fight me. You shouldn't be fighting me. You should try to go home and fix it with your girlfriend because nine times out of ten, when you fighting me, she probably banging somebody else. Yeah. So you need to fix the problem yeah. instead of going after the other person. The other person is, do is doing what the other person is doing. You can't be mad at them. You can to an extent, but it takes two to tango. And your spouse three, or four. your significant other should knew better. Yeah. But my thing is, if you're going to cheat with somebody, a guy shouldn't be or a girl shouldn't be mad at the person that they cheated on with. Unless... The person knew about it and it's close to you yeah if the and person knew about it same with the friends yeah. and all that kind of stuff you yeah. should know better my thing is <clears throat> like if i was to catch if i had a girl and i was to catch her cheating or like with another dude or whatever if the dude knew me and knew about me i'm not gonna try to fight him like if it's a friend of mine i'm not gonna try to fight him like it's a friend if, it's over like if, if franklin was like trying to bang my girl or was banging my girl i'm putting Everything in my power to bang his sister. Damn. Yeah. Why you gonna kick it up a notch? I, I will kick it up a notch. I, I kill Ants with a sledgehammer. I would do overkill. 
Like, I'm tearing that shit up to record it and send it to you. Like, there's somebody I don't like right now that I, you know what I'm talking about. There's a motherfucker I would like right now that I keep saying I'm gonna fuck his wife in the ass and record it and send it to him. I know who you're talking about. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about too, aren't you? Yeah. All right, then. And that, the shh. fucked up thing is it probably could happen. It probably could happen. Yeah, he pushed it. His wife looked like fucking bullshit. Just want you to know if that shit is given the opportunity, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna send it to your fucking kids. <laughs> I'm not angry, I'm just, you know, just going the to do it. The views that were just expressed are not shared by everyone in the room. <laughs> I didn't mean to but say But go on. Anyway, anyway, um, yeah, it doesn't mean the guy does not love you. It doesn't mean the girl does not love you. It just means that human beings weren't made to be monogamous. There's very few creatures on the planet that practice monogamy. Penguins. Like penguins. Whales. Some whales. And they do it, though. Yeah. And, um... Elephants? I think dolphins practice monogamy. No. Actually, dolphins practice homosexuality. A lot of animals mm. practice. It's not a basketball game. A lot of animals indulge well, in homosexual, uh, uh, homosexual activity. Come on, you can do it. You, yeah, thank you. You. you can do it. One, two, is this thing on? <laughs> yeah, but, but think of, like, look. Cheating does not kill your relationship all the time. Just depends who you are. Can you depends who you are. Or but the thing about it is, also, I, it sucks. I, I've been cheated on before. It sucks to get cheated on. Yeah, it does. Because it's like, did I do something wrong? I've been cheated on. And the first thing guys think about is, cycle. is this dick bigger than mine? Yeah, every guy does think that. Every guy thinks that. If a guy gets cheated on, the guy's like, is this dick bigger than mine? But I heard some women, they think of like, is she better than me? Does she do this better than me? Why? Yeah. You, of course you get cheated on. You're going to question everything. You're going to question. Especially sexual. Sexual, you know, like oh, I wasn't enough. Or like, if a guy enough. cheats for just physical, the women probably could forgive that. If a guy cheats and it's emotional, I've heard that some women can't really forgive that. Because I've heard some women get mad over a guy having a, a connection over like Facebook or something like yeah. that, and he never touched her, and they were like crazy upset, yeah. and they actually were like, "I'd rather him fuck her than yeah. him connecting with emotionally." I've been told that by. Uh, women I dated. It's women and men we, th we think differently. Women are emotional and men are visual. And some guys some guys they can't they can't stand that either. Like, you know, she's telling him like they they, they love and she loves you know, him and everything. Yeah, you know, like they just they have like a more of an emotional relationship. Like, you know, sometimes husbands they lose track. Like, you know, I have relatives that's cheated on their spouses. And I've known about okay. it. Like, you know, for the longest time I used to con I used to try to you know, convince one of my relatives, like, yo, man, just cheat. Like, you ain't happy. I know you're not happy. Just cheat. And he was like, nah. And he wasn't even a blood relative. I was just like, dude, you just probably need to get you something else. Get some strange. Like, I even I even pushed the divorce. I was like, yo, you are not happy. But <clears throat> they stuck it out. They stuck it out. And they're still sticking it out. But it is what it is. If somebody cheats on you, it's not the end of the world. It hurts. Trust me. I know. I'm sure you sure Franklin knows. We all know. Um, I've been on both sides of the equation. I'm the one who's been doing the cheating. I got cheated on. I was the person that the person cheated on with. So, it is what it is. Yeah. Cheating doesn't kill the relationship 100% of the time. Uh, there's people who've been cheated on. They've seen marriage counselors and stuff like that. I just, I'm a firm believer in... Human beings are not monogamous creatures. You have to work to keep a relationship. People say marriage is hard work. Yeah, it is. For a reason. Because human beings aren't meant to be monogamous creatures. Love requires sacrifice. The sacrifice and all that scattered ass that's on the planet. <laughs> wow, there's 7 billion people and you're supposed to be locked down to one. We're not saying it can't happen, but it's... Uh, it's happened for a lot of years. Uh, it's happened for the better part of the century, but, you know, if you come home one day and you see your wife or your husband just getting, just tearing some shit up, like, if you see... You gotta set that motherfucker on fire! <laughs> no, no, I don't do that. No. You don't need to do that, but, you know, <laughs> if you just so happen to walk past um, some places in New Jersey and you see a... A delicious looking beard that looks something like this. 
or the curly mustache that's gonna come in with the curls, you know? Right, let, me get, let me focus in on you. You gotta, you gotta twirl. Yeah. Let me get some wax, you know? I'm gonna get it. Kind of a B wax. Curl it like that. The wax that they use for dreads and shit. Yeah, gonna be anyway, let's chain. get back to the shit. Gonna be off the All chain. right. Ladies and gentlemen, evaluate your relationships. Discuss this before you actually get in a relationship about cheating and stuff like that. Like, how many strikes do I have? Uh, <laughs> wow. You know, say so when you meet someone? Yeah. Listen, I didn't know how many strikes I have. I just didn't know. I thought this was. I thought we knew. I, thought, I know right now asking that, I already, I already use one of them. So. <laughs> I'm already anyway, well prepared for that. Uh, I'm Will. I'm Franklin. We're the Honest Jerks. Um, talk to your partners. And if you like us, please subscribe, comment, and share everything. Yep, yep, yep. Your relationships. Share it all. Peace.